last 30, 40 miles were, let me just put the camera in my holder here. Just chill with me for a second. Well, I made it. Um, it's been an awesome day. Uh, I usually don't do videos like this from the truck and the lights on, but uh, yes, uh, an incredible day. Uh, Brent from half Ass Customs put on a, uh, well, he didn't put it on. He hosted a workshop today for metalworking with Carl Fisher from Make It Custom. Um, for what it, what it's worth, I'm going to show you a few things. <clears throat> Pardon my face. But, uh. What it was, was a demonstration on shrinking and stretching and shape and form and everything else. Now, I got to keep the pieces of metal I played with here. Um, basically, learning to shrink um, with, of course, my new friend. Can you read that? You know, I'm a cheap at mofo at the best of times, but after using it, I just don't regret it. Um, Carl gave us a deal on the used hammers. So, this morning, if I had tried to make something like this before I went to see Carl and Brent and all the other guys there, awesome, I'd have never done it. It was a quick tutorial very clear very concise and I was just so impressed with that um, this is that hammer this one this hammer a shrinking stump which I will show you at a later date because I managed to get one out of the deal too um, thanks to Brent's friend who brought oak stumps and Carl carved them out for the shrinks and uh, yeah I'm impressed. Like, this is beyond anything I could ever accomplish 12 hours ago. Made another one, smaller. This one, I think I used the planishing hammer on it a little bit. Um, it was a little more difficult for whatever reason, being smaller maybe, and I didn't want as much of a dish, so that's what I ended up with. Now, then we went on to um, using paper as a template to form pieces on uh, a car body that was parked outside the garage. Now I'll put up some pictures. There's a picture of it there and you'll see the car and it, this was the right rear corner adjacent to the trunk. Now you can see there's quite a bit of bendiness going on here and uh, you know honestly I never thought I could have figured this out in a million years. And after working with Carl a little bit, and he was hands-on with everybody. He was coaching everyone, which is just awesome. You would go to some courses, I'm sure, and the guys tell you how to do it and then let you make all the mistakes in the world. Well, he's teaching you the right way to do this stuff. And honestly, it's not hard to figure out. If you guys ever get an opportunity to take a course, especially with Carl, I jump on it and I don't regret it for a second. Um, that being said, um, I don't know what else to say at the moment other than my heartfelt thanks to Brent and Esther. Esther, lunch was great. Brent, thanks for hosting everybody. It was great meeting all you guys. It was nice seeing you, Jeff. Dan at DD Speed Shop was there. We had a good time, lots of laughs, lots of talking. Everybody got along great, we, we had a blast. So, that being said, I'm gonna close this video out. I'll post this and then I'll throw in what pictures I have. I'll grab a picture of my uh, shrinking stump and uh, we'll call it a day. Again, I'd like to thank you both for watching. Have a great day and remember, this is achievable by anybody. You just got to be determined. Oh, one more thing.
Life's too short. Get on with it. My apologies to the neighbors. They threw a little party for uh, Lauren's birthday, but I couldn't attend. So this is the mother tucking stump. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to leave the bark on it or not, but I asked if I could have one. And Brent graciously loaded it in my truck because I'm old and gimpy. What a day. I'm pooped. But it was worth the drive, worth the trip, and uh, I'd do it again in a heartbeat.